So here I am decorating some policy envelopes. I started out with this large green um, policy envelope that I had made, that I had stitched together. Um, I decided to go ahead and use this tool that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby and this uh, die cut that I had stitched together. And so uh, first I'm going to some foam tape in the back of my die cut piece here and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that down. I should have probably put hot glue also in addition, um, but I didn't. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and put the tool um, over. I really liked how the little stones on the tool um, looks on top of the die cut and I actually wrapped it all around um, all the way towards the back and then here I'm just bunching it up and hot gluing it and I'm gonna go ahead and put a bow uh, an, a tool bow that I'm going to make um, to just cover up that glued section but I really like the way this looked because I really like the way those little stones look on top of the die cut. So I'm just taking another piece of tool here and like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just create a very, very simple bow. And I am just kind of trying it out here to see how that was going to look. And um, I took a piece of patterned paper from the collection and um, it's just a plain pink paper and I just made a little strip and that's what I'm going to use to um, to put as a belt around the uh, tool so that it looks like a bow and you can do this with a ribbon um, however you want to make your bow or you can use a ready-made bow if you want I pretty much kind of wanted to keep it relatively flat in the back um, so I just decided to go ahead and do this um, instead of looking for you know a ribbon that was gonna you know coordinate <laughs> so this is my very first for the second one I um, got one of the smaller envelopes here and um, I'm using a different instead of a um, I was about to say a different tool but this is actually not tool this is organza trim and I got this also at Hobby Lobby and I actually got this um, on clearance I decided to put this organza trim <clears throat> just on top of the die cut itself and not around the envelope so I went ahead and just glued, I folded it over to the back and just glued just three sides, the bottom and the two right and left sides and left the top open um, just because it was uneven on the top there. So I thought it looked kind of funny when I um, tried to fold it over. So you're going to see here, I'm just going to leave it open on the top and then um, once I adhere this down on the envelope, I can't remember if I popped this up on foam tape as well, but once I adhered this down, I'm going to go ahead and put this pretty full leather bow that I had also made and I also stitched um, and I'll see if I can leave the link to the my little bows when I shared them. I'm just cutting the excess here because I'm just really, I kind of want it to have a clean look and just to put that organza just on the front front. Nothing in the back. And that's it for this one. Really pretty. And then for this floral policy envelope, um, I was trying to figure out what die cuts to use and I think I just ended up using the bigger die cut the, that says love yourself on here and then um, for 
um, the tool. I don't think I used a tool for this one. Oh, and then I also used that ephemera piece. I used an, another organza trim from Hobby Lobby as well. And this one is a pretty teal, tealish blue color. Really, really pretty. And very sparkly. So I thought that was really nice to use. So um, I just folded it over again. I'm just going to hot glue it. This one was just a very simple one. I, this is all I did. And then I just put that flower die cut. And, and then a bow. So these are mostly the same thing um, that I, I did with the other policy envelopes. So this was um, pretty quick to put together. You know, once you have everything stitched, so, you know, I, I did the stitching just, you know, one day and then, um, like I stitched the, the ephemera one day and then I stitched the envelopes another day. So it came, it was easy to put together. Okay. And then there's this navy blue with flowers on it. I love this pattern. So pretty and decided to use this pink die cut with the little um, um, teacup. So I'm going to pop this up again on some foam dots. As you can see, I have this big roll of foam dots that I had gotten from Frank Garcia Studio. And this will last me for a very, very long time. Um, the only thing is it's not that uh, thick. So I still use my other ones from the Dollar Tree because that one's a little bit thicker. Okay, so for this one, um, I decided to just put wrap this all around, all the way to the back. And you see where those, those little um, sequins dots are? Uh, that's where I put the glue. So that way I can pretty much hide the hot glue and so I just put very little just a tiny just a little dot on the back and that's all I did for this one and then I think I did also put a bow in the front where that flap is and I ended up putting actually this um, silver metallic bow instead of that holographic one and then here's another one, another rainbow um, policy envelope. And again, just did the same thing. Um, for this one, I went back to that tool that is, you know, they had the rhinestones. And I did basically the same thing that I did for the, my very first policy envelope, where I kind of wrapped this around and over um, the policy envelope um, but before that I decided to make this bow just um, yeah just made a, a tool bow so I adhered this um, die cut down and also the flower on the bottom just pop that up on some more uh, dimensional foam tape here and then um, that pink tool I just wrap this starting from the front to the back and then I scrunched it up again in the middle I kind of bunched it up in the middle um, and then hot glued it and then I'll be putting the bow to hide the hot glue because um, I am using plenty of glue on this one because it just didn't want to stay for some reason but anyway I think I just wasn't letting it dry at, um, wasn't drying fast enough for me and <laughs> I really had to just sit there and just put it on you know um, keep my finger on there and then I added a bow okay so for this I think this is my last one oh no this is my second to the last one um, I decided to use this flocked polka dotted tool 
and this is really fun um, another fun little pattern so it's not blingy but um, just adds a lot of texture again to this policy envelope and um, I put my die cut on top of it I probably should have put my die cut under it instead because I felt like once I put that that die cut um, stitched piece uh, it just pretty much covered the whole thing because it's a small envelope so that um, die cut was pretty large and so it really did just kind of cover up um, the polka dots <laughs> oh well um, lesson learned next time I will put it on top so that's pretty much all I did with this one I just cut the edges and then I I don't think I show you here but I did put a bow on that as well and then for the last one here, this is the heart patterned one. Um, I don't think I did too much with this one. I went back to that teal, that's the teal, or I think I might have used the pink on this one, or the peach. I think it was the peach, yes, this one. And I just used, I just cut a piece of this, and again, I'm gonna just wrap it around that. Um, stitch die cut there and if um, if this was like a well you know you could I could have um, made this a shaker actually I think that's what I'm gonna do next time I don't know if I said that already but this organza is, is nice and stiff and um, it's really great to use it for some shakers so I think I'm actually gonna do that next um, but that'll be another video so again I left the top open there I don't think I folded it over and then I just added a bow again and that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed my little process video and um, hope you guys give it a try really fun let's use the you know, all those tool um, trims that we got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. Um, I sure have plenty of tools, so it was just nice to whip some of them out and go ahead and use it on my projects. So I love the way these came out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.